What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Real No Williams, back from our Lab Podcast. The greatest and the latest, the boldest and the coldest, a.k.a. Platinum with no features. God damn it. A.k.a. waiting to go to work. So I'm sitting in the parking lot because Central Time is a fucking bitch, and it always fucks up my sleeping pattern. And I got to thinking about myself, like, you know, about what I wanted to leave behind and, you know, things of that nature. So it just kind of got me thinking, like, you know, the people I've met, the things I've done, where I want to go in life. You know, this past summer, I was living for revenge. I'm not going to lie to you. I was very much living for revenge. And now I'm kind of coming out of that, and it's kind of just gotten me to the point where it's more so like, damn, what do you really want to do? You know what I'm saying? I don't get much views on my YouTube like that. You know, I might get one or two or three views here. But this is something I very much enjoy doing, you know? And it was more so like a business idea at first. But, you know, I got to thinking, you know, that I always, you know, make memes and stuff on Facebook, post jokes and everything. You know, and, you know, I always come across the statuses like, well, you are still in, you know, folks are always still in statuses on Facebook, this, that, and the third. And it kind of had me like, you know what? I don't really care if folks steal my shit. Because I can just make new shit. And I feel the same way about this YouTube. Like, I've been doing this shit for six months. Like, I can literally rant as much as I want to about everything in life. And I hate how this collar looks on my shirt, but it's a work shirt. But nah, for real, like, you know, I've been seeing a lot of death going around me. You know, my grand, my great grandmother just passed and it's kind of like, you know, I, I wasn't able to make it to the funeral, but she meant a lot to a lot of people. And she died at 97. 97 years old, passed away at 97. That, like that lady lived a long ass life. And it makes me think to myself, like, you know, what impact do I want to leave on people? You know what I'm saying? I get up every single morning and I talk as much shit as humanly possible because it's something I love to do. But, you know, I didn't create this YouTube channel to just be like, you know, a woman channel strictly. Or, you know, I basically just, you know, my, my whole thing is. I basically just speak on whatever the fuck I want to speak on. Like, I like having a freedom of speech. I like being able to, you know, vocalize things that I feel. And I never really had an outlet for it, you know, hence the name. But it kind of just got me, you know, feeling like, what's going to be the legacy of Ronald Williams if he ever gets killed or, you know, dies or passes on or if i live to be 97 years old with a whole shit ton of grandchildren and shit you know my dad has always talked to me about having another grandkid and it's something i ain't never you know like the thought of and i still honestly don't give a fuck about it now but i honestly see where he's coming from at the age of 50 at, at the age of 55 56 i forget how old the nigga is but like my parents are in their 50s and I remember a time when I was 18, I didn't think I'd ever be 30. Like, I always felt like I was going to get killed by the time I was 21 because of the way I was living. I'm not saying I was living just that dangerously. But, you know, it kind of just had me thinking, like, damn, like, you know, you're 30 years old. I look at things where it's like, you know, eventually I'm 30 now. I know at some point I'm going to become 40. What do I want my life to be like? Who do I want to impact? What do I want to change? What do I want to control? You know, I've been living this life ducking, I want to say ducking, but passing off relationships for, you know, about seven, eight, you know, six, seven years now. I forget the damn number because it's been so long. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like, am I okay with this going on as long as it's going on? I mean, honestly, I am. But, you know, if I really sit back and take a look at it, am I okay with just, you know, Making up, making some of my stuff. I feel like I can get married. Honestly, I feel like love is one of the things I can pick up on at any time I want to. Which is why I'm never really concerned with it. And I say, you know, even with this summer, I was living for revenge because I was so angry at a person I was willing to throw my own life away at it, over at the time. Do, but do I want my story to be, you know, like my cousin is? Like my cousin's locked down for 45 years. He made a bad decision with his life and it affected the rest of his life. 
So do I go down that path and, you know, get my revenge and then, you know, I'm sitting in jail or I've made things hard on myself because I was angry at another person? No. Nah, I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm at this point, I don't really give a fuck about it. But it just makes me think to myself, like, you know, I keep a picture of my uncle's grave in my phone and everything, and it kind of just makes me think what his life would have been like if he was still alive. Because, I mean, to be honest with you, dealing with all this past death, like, I lost my great-grandmother this summer. I lost my grandmother this summer. I lost my uncle this summer. You know what I'm saying? My baby mama's cousin died this summer. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't nothing but 21. Like, she didn't even get to live her life, really. And it makes me think, like, it, it really got me in this mind frame where I'm really valuing life more than usual you know what i'm saying i use it i value life i wake up talking shit every day but i never really think about it sometimes like i had a fr friend of mine that hit me up yesterday and me and her got to talking and she was like she had a dream of uh, her, her baby daddy sitting out at the table or whatever and she just was so shaken up by it because she felt like you know either i was gonna get killed or you know not me specifically but like her baby daddy was gonna get killed or she was going to get killed. And I was like, look, don't think too hard on it. You know what I'm saying? You're alive now. You know what I'm saying? Live life. And see, that's my whole point for this video. Because I'm, I'm still above ground. Like, I'm still breathing. I still have my arm. It's not like the nigga took the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I still have time to make a choice. And I, you know, like, I, I think of stuff like, you know, well, who is it? SX Tentari no it was you know Nipsey Hussle for example who died got killed earlier this year and shit like that like imagine if Nipsey, H Nipsey Hussle would have lived to be like 50 years old man the impact that man could have left on the lives of the people he was around and it makes me think of my life in a sense like I'm not saying I'm a big deal but I don't see myself quitting this YouTube shit you know what I'm saying one two views I, I got 20 subscribers now but I look back at my damn timeline and I remember when I had three. And I was like, damn. Now, it might not mean much to you, at, you know, right now, but it's kind of like, damn, like this shit kind of is growing slowly, but surely it's growing. You know what I'm saying? Very slowly, goddammit. Very slowly. But it just goes to show that you have to have a love for what you do. But all in all, you know, I plan on leaving up behind something that people can be proud of. Know what I'm saying? I'm a lot more than just a person that wakes up every morning just to talk shit. And, you know, that was just something I wanted to share with everybody. But this has been Rolling Up Wings for Outlet Podcast. And I do not feel like going to work. Ugh.